Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making quarantine coffee soap. And this soap came about because my husband's been working at home due to the stay at home order and drinking a lot more coffee at home. So I'm starting out with my melted hard oils and my soft oils in my bucket and my coffee lye solution in my bowl. And this has been made with freshly brewed coffee which has been cooled to room temperature before adding the lye. So I'm going to add my lye coffee solution into my melted oils and I'm going to bring those to emulsification with my spatula. So my bucket's pretty full, but as with this recipe, it doesn't take very long for it to come to emulsification. This soap did stay nice and fluid, so I did switch to my stick blender just to bring it to trace. You can see that my soap batter is coating the head of my stick blender nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape that off and add my essential oils. Today I'm just using orange essential oil to complement that coffee nicely. And then I'm adding some of those coffee grinds to the soap. And these coffee grinds have been brewed and dried fully. So I added about three heaped tablespoons of the coffee grinds into my batter and I'm going to mix those and the essential oils into my batter with my spatula. doing a hanger swirl design for this soap so I'm going to split my batter into three parts and I'm just doing this by eye so I'm going to have one part that's just the color that the coffee gives this soap naturally one part that's lighter and one part that's darker For the darker part, I'm adding cocoa powder. And for the lighter part, I'm adding kaolin clay. And that little bit that I got in my other bucket isn't going to affect the colour at all. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend the cocoa powder into my soap batter. Now moving on to my non-coloured portion, again I'm just bringing this to trace. And now my light soap batter. And this didn't give as much of a contrast between the uncoloured batter as I wanted it to. So I'm adding some zinc oxide to lighten it a bit more and stick blending that and you can see that's lightened the batter up nicely. So I'm bringing my soap moulds in and I'm pouring most of the darker soap into the bottom of the soap moulds. And 
and I'm going to pour the light and the uncoloured soap into the darker soap in a drop swirl. my soap moulds are full I have brought my gear tie in which I use as a hanger tool and I'm putting that all the way to the bottom of the soap mould and moving it in a circular motion across the soap mould as I bring it towards the top and that's going to create the intricate swirl that I'm looking for in this soap and I'm repeating that with both of my soap moulds. Alright, so I've waited a few minutes for my soap to set up a little bit more and I'm using the back of a spoon to move the soap from one edge towards the other edge but I'm not going all the way, I want to leave um, a flat section for my embeds to sit on. And this is just adding a nice bit of texture to the top of my soap. Alright, making the coffee beans. I made these out of soap dough which have been coloured with cocoa powder and I just broke off a small part of my brown and I'm rolling it into almost a jelly bean shape. And once that's formed the shape that I like, I tried using my cuticle tool to get the groove down the middle but I actually preferred the effect that just a kitchen knife gave me. And this is what it looks like. Once they were all made I did flatten the top and this is what they look like. They look just like real coffee beans. So heading back to the soap and adding the coffee beans onto the top of the soap. I have turned my moulds around so that I can use the guidelines that I have and I'm just placing three of those coffee beans on each soap between the marks on my soap mould. And I repeated the same process for my second soap. And here it is up close. Do you love the look of shiny wet soap as much as I do? I wish it could stay that shiny. So 15 hours later and it was time for the cut of this soap. 
So I lined my soap up on my multibar cutter just to make sure that my, my wires weren't going to cut any of the coffee beans. what the swirls look on the inside. So I'm going to pull out one of the soaps from the middle of my loaf or two and show you the swirls. Look how intricate those swirls are and I love that the colour differentiation is really subtle in this. The portion with the cocoa powder in is going to get darker as you can see from the outside of the soap but you will still be able to see those really intricate swirls and each bar is different. Just look how cute those little coffee beans look on top. They just look so realistic. I'm so pleased with how they turned out. And the soap smells so good. Just a nice orangey smell. And the coffee grinds in that soap are going to add a nice gentle exfoliation to this bar. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And for more soap making videos each week, please subscribe to my channel.